of 2024. You guys know I do these vlogs every single year. I have been doing Ramadan vlogs for so many years now and I've once upon a time done daily Ramadan vlogs which is crazy to think of because they require so much energy and the older I'm getting the less of that I have so you guys are gonna have to just settle for the weekly Ramadan vlogs. So far I'm planning to do one video a week which should be like a weekly vlog inshallah for the duration of Ramadan. So I'm going to be sharing snippets of my day, putting it together and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I don't know how much energy I'm going to have to do anything other than just what I'm doing on a normal daily basis. So don't expect fireworks, amazing content because I'm fasting, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty and all of that stuff. So I'll show you and I'll let you guys into a little bit of our Ramadan, maybe share 15-20 minutes of my whole week inshallah and hopefully you guys enjoy it and it's not draining on me and I'm able to focus on my ibadah and this is just like you know an afterthought thing to do for me and I thought I'd take you guys with me on a Costco trip because I need to go and pick up some last minute Ramadan bits and I'll show you my Ramadan Costco finds because they do halal meat in my area anyway and I didn't know that until the last time I went anyway I'm running out of time the kids are eating downstairs and today is Malik's Ramadan assembly my eldest son and I'm so 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 happy that he's in a school that takes Ramadan into account, that makes a big deal of it. So the Ramadan assembly is basically just to teach everybody what Ramadan is all about and the children who celebrate it in the class. I think everyone actually, not just the kids who celebrate it, everybody's part of it. So they're going to teach us the audience the parents what ramadan is about why we fast malik even said he's going to be reading alhamdu which is the opening prayer to prayer the opening uh, verse that you read to every prayer i'm really really excited to see my son on the stage and that's what we're going to do first why did none of you tell me i had lipstick on my teeth this whole time i don't have time to redo this i really don't <laughs> And I'm not going to be redoing this because I have to go. I need to make it to my son's assembly. I need to take these kids to school. So I'm back from the assembly and I'm about to make myself some coffee. This is the one I'm using. Milk. I must remember to add milk to my Costco list. Also, this thing here, kindly gifted by Noop that company k-n-o-o-p they do amazing hot chocolate it's a game changer coffee like frothy frothy coffee i was thinking of getting hotel chocolate velvetizer i heard it makes amazing velvety coffee not just for hot chocolate maybe if i eat i'll get that for my present shower. but this yeah this does something so good I'm gonna microwave this, add some water, and then my coffee is done. That assembly was really, really good. All the kids did amazing. I think I finished the milk. Um, I'm really proud of my son, obviously. Obviously, I'm a typical mom. I'm proud of my son. I'm obsessed. Obsessed to another level with the Costco croissants. No one can tell me any different. Their croissants are elite. Better than M&S, better than Aldi, better than all of them. Better than all the supermarkets put together. Kirkland uh, coffee. Coffee? Coffee. Croissant. It's the best. I forgot I have these damn Invisaligns in my mouth. And I keep forgetting. Because had I remembered that I have it in my mouth, I wouldn't have made this coffee. Because what the actual, like getting this out of my mouth just to drink that, just so I can brush my teeth and put it back in. Ah, long. I'm going to save that coffee for later. <laughs> hey, let us go. Uh, it's about the 20 minute drive and i also have to go to farm foods because my son my lovely beautiful son loves the tandoori chicken tenders from farm foods absolutely loves it he says it's better than the costco flaming tenders i was a bit offended by that because what do you mean he's better than the costco's flaming tenders they're elite 
but he likes the tandoori one so i'm gonna go buy that for him as well i'm just in the clothes aisle i'm gonna check out the clothes and see if there's anything nice for vegan because liana she loves her clothes i'm telling you and uh i'm gonna look for some hoodies just some oversized men hoodies so the trip the trick is to buy men uh, that's what I mean when I say um, like bead stuff like gifts because Yana yeah, loves these princessy dresses oh look I always get the croissants and this is the ones I get but this time I want to get the one the mini ones um, that have panna chocolat in it I think where are they? <gasps> Ooh, donuts. Ooh, cake. This is me every time I go to Costco. I'm like, ooh, ooh, this, ooh, that. This is the one I'm getting this time round. Minis. So I'm gonna get this one. Costco do halal chicken now. So you got this one here. I don't know if that one is. And then you have this. This is massive, by the way. There's so much in then there is a large chicken for your roast. I've been after a panini maker for such a long time. So I think I'm gonna get this one. You get three in one. This is what it looks like. And it is $34.99. Oh, I did that in one hand. I'm looking at the Ninja Creamy and I'm thinking, is it worth it? Because it's been out of stock for so long and it looks so good. You can turn anything into ice cream if you have a creamy. I have to think about it because how often do I eat ice cream when I'm PMSing? And I will eat so much ice cream. Guys, I had like three tubs of Ben and Jerry's in a week. I don't even like ice cream like that. I've got chocolate chip brownie sample. I'm just collecting all these samples. Look at that. And then when I get to the car, I'm eating all of them. This is my breakfast. Get one of these. Yes. This is so good. So, so good. This is the burger version that we tried last time and the kids absolutely demolished it. And myself actually. Guys, they've also got some dates here. If you're looking for dates for Ramadan. If you don't make your own samosas, I definitely recommend you get these. These, um, oh, I might actually try them this time. They're not that big. I thought they were going to be massive, but let's get them. Look, I think I'm done. It's getting heavy now. Look how nice this dress is. So pretty. So I'm back home, I thought I'd show you guys a little haul. Got these to hold my stuff in. You can just do that, you don't need to buy it. We have the three-in-one sandwich toasty maker. We've got the knife set, which I'm so excited to use. Prawn gyozas, these gyozas are so, so good. If you haven't tried these, get them. They're so nice. And then the samosa selection, I'm gonna try them actually. I've got my air fryer preheating. I'm gonna make some of these chicken i'm gonna put it in there i'm gonna press it in the sandwich presser and then for some snack snacky bits got these got this this sounds so so good look at that mm, yum burger chicken tenders these so so good they give kfc a run for their money my favorite tuna mini victoria sponge cakes they are so so yummy honestly so delicious if you've never tried these before and you know someone with a Costco card, just ask them to buy you this for you because it's so good. And that is everything. Good morning. I literally woke up so early for a Saturday. I don't usually wake up this early. I woke up half an hour ago. I'm wearing the most comfy, cozy, fled type of joggers from Primark. Just a crew neck jumper, oversized, and I did my makeup a little bit. Today I did a wing eyeliner. Good two years 
no eyeliner and I think I like it. What do you guys think? I think it suits me. Cut eye look. I'm currently on my period. Yes, we talk about periods because we're grown women. We do not call it other weird names. My 10 year old son knows about periods. <laughs> I tell him about it. I tell him why women can't fast or why women can't pray one week of the month and he is like, oh, okay, that's interesting. So I think um, it shouldn't be a taboo thing. Why did I go off on a tangent? Oh yeah, because I know a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of cultural people, people that follow the culture, they get very offended and it's taboo for them because it's taboo in their household, etc. Not in my house. In my house, we talk about everything. <laughs> That's why I feel comfortable talking to you guys because it's not a big thing. Anyway, 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 I digress. really wanted to kickstart off Ramadan by actually fasting because the last few years I think I was on my period during the first week and I just didn't feel like I was in sync with everybody I wasn't you know enjoying that Ramadan atmosphere and I'm so happy that this year I am because inshallah I should be done by like Monday or even Tuesday so inshallah I get to fast the first week is always a tough one isn't it but I am a bit sad that I won't be able to fast in the last week of Ramadan but you know what Everything happens for a reason, alhamdulillah, you know, we can do so much, even if you're not fasting during the first week and that's you, absolutely fine, try and listen to talks, have it playing, have your adhkar playing in the morning, it honestly makes such a big difference, so um, I've got my little pollen bag. But I haven't worn it for such a long time because I usually in my backpack, I like to just go shops and buy a bunch of things and stuff it in my backpack. But I'm wearing my little cute bag today. Sadly, I'm not wearing a cute coat. I'm wearing my puffer coat. Puffer coats are just not cute, you know. They're just not, but they're designed to keep you warm. And I want to be warm. And I want to get some steps in today, inshallah. And then later when I come back, I do have a lot of editing to do. Um, I have to send in a video. I have a deadline. So I want to send it off by Monday. So hopefully you guys see it after Ramadan I think now at this point and I'm so sorry that it's not uh, relevant but I hope you guys watch and enjoy it still and it is an ad and I really appreciate when you guys support my ads it means so much to me and it means that I can take care of my kids myself and you know essentially it is my full-time job so I really really appreciate it and I don't say it enough so thank you so much to all of you that engage in my ads and comment and like the video regardless and you're just rooting for me and I'm really grateful for that you guys are helping me in ways that you'll never understand or never comprehend and I'm eternally grateful for that and I will forever keep you guys in my dark. All of you that genuinely want the best for me and the best for everybody, you guys are in my dark. And may Allah give you all that your heart desires and wants and wishes for and answer your prayers and your du'as in this life and the hereafter. Amen. Everybody say Amen. I don't even know if I remember to show you guys what I got to eat but anyway today the weather is gorgeous when I say it's gorgeous I mean it's actually hot I can't wear my puffer coat out <laughs> maybe it's just today let's not get ahead of ourselves but anyway I picked up these pajamas from Primark I hope they fit me I got the medium and I picked up these pajamas for Malik I picked these up to put inside of the Ramadan baskets that I make every single year for the kids I always include pyjamas, they get new pyjamas at the beginning of Ramadan and then they get pyjamas for Eid as well and they get pyjamas for their birthday so I always get new pyjamas I don't buy them during the year like that, I only buy them during these occasions so they get something fresh you know gold firefly battery lights I haven't got this for a really long time since I bought my um, African net mesh thing which by the way is so so good and I just chucked it in the washing machine. But um, since then, I haven't bought any of these, but I saw it and I thought, I like these. <laughs> I do, for those quick ones. But I always get rid of them, which is then I picked up ah, new plates that I did not need, but here we are, we have new plates. Well, I've got two of these little bowls. They're literally the same size as my palms. They're not that big. You know, I've got two of those. I think they're so nice. 
and they look way more expensive than what they were they were three pound fifty each doesn't this look like something you get from h&m and then i got this bowl which is like a bigger size i was thinking of getting another one but i thought do i need it not really i just want it and this is more than sufficient for me like if i'm eating pasta or anything like that and then i got this really nice cute candle and like it looks like shattered glass it smells very very nice it smells like soap like fresh linen soap i think this yeah this was six pounds haven't been here in a really long time these were six pounds they work out about two pounds each so I thought why not get two of them so i got two or lots of these then i got a bunch of things for the ramadan basket once again i got this for malik this for them to share how cute is that i'm about to go and eat some food now and i'll probably catch you guys tomorrow because i need to tidy up the house the kids aren't here when the kids come back i just want the house to be nice and fresh started off well it is really really a difficult time to actually enjoy anything with what's happening in palestine and what has been happening goodness me it's heart-wrenching to actually enjoy anything right now honestly it makes you realize how much you have and how grateful you should be like no matter what situation you're in right now no matter what you're going through not that i'm trying to take away from everybody's experiences it could always be worse so alhamdulillah for everything Big or small, whatever test you're going through right now, I promise you, it is nothing in comparison and the strength that they have, I wish I had an ounce or like a drop in the ocean of that strength. If you guys know of any good charities that are donating this Ramadan, please DM me and let me know so that I can share them in the next few videos that I'm doing. I just want to link some reputable charities that are doing 100% donations. I'm not working with any charity companies. I just want to make sure it's legit and it's 100% donation policy so that obviously all the money goes to where it needs to go, you know? Can you guys see the rain? I'm sorry, but it's wet all week in London. It's such a pain, like taking the kids to school when it's raining. I absolutely love nothing more them being in the house while it's raining outside and I'm watching the rain from where I'm sitting right now and it's stunning, it's beautiful. It's a rahmah from Allah. I'm never gonna hate on the rain. In fact, I went out for a walk today. I got myself a cheeky 11,800 steps and it's only 1 p.m. I've popped batteries in here because I'm always losing them. I open it and then I chuck it somewhere and I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna get the lanterns and I'm going to change the batteries because they need changing we've just done a bit of decorating for a move on and then we've got our two lanterns there. We are done decorating. Malik was so excited to help me. Liana didn't want any part of it, which is absolutely fine. You do you, girl. And I hope it's beautiful, beautiful Ramadan for you guys. And if it's not, you're in my da'as. You really are, all of you. And keep me and my family in your da'as, inshallah. I would be eternally grateful. That is like the best gift you can give anybody for you to pray for them. And remember, this is very important, okay? Get your notebook out. <laughs> Whatever die you make for other people, the angels that's in here and here, they're making the exact same dua for you. So always wish the best upon people, wish the best for people because the angels are making the exact same dua for you. Don't wish evil on people. Even if they're not good to you, always wish them the best. Always ask Allah to protect them, to preserve them, to give them amazing life, to give them the best in this world and the hereafter. Okay. I'm gonna go eat and um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.